Well, the chance of bringing a tennis title back to the Cooley region is a big motivator for Aquinas. The individual state tournament starts tomorrow with the team tournament the following week. And as News 19's Colton Emsweiler explains, the Blue Golds will have strength in numbers. That's a sound very familiar for Aquinas. After putting in hard work and even harder slams, the Blue Golds are headed to Team State for the first time since 2006 and are sending a record six individuals to Madison this week. It's the biggest stage, but there's no need for any special prep ahead of time. One of the axioms that I repeat to the girls all the time is if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. And we usually say that in terms of making changes to improve. But obviously what we've done so far has gotten us a long way. And so we're going to stick with, with what got us here. That level of success marks the end of a monumental rebuild for Aquinas. When the senior class were freshmen, they went 3-13. and 13. And after going 22-2 and two this year, they're hoping to achieve greater heights in their last opportunity. Um, well, individual, I get a buy the first round, but I'm just planning to put in 110% effort and see where it leads from there, but hoping to make it farther this year than I have in the previous years. I made it to the second round, and last year I lost in a tiebreaker to go to the third round. So The six individuals are comprised of two singles athletes and two doubles pairings, the latter of which has a special bond beyond the synergy the entire team shares. I'm just excited to be playing with my friends. Like I played with these girls in middle school and high school. I think my doubles partner really like brought out the best in me, and I think we work well together, and I think I think the best part about it and doubles is just having a friend on the court that can pick you up and like it makes tennis fun. And being in such unprecedented territory, Coach Roop uses the word historic to describe this year's club. And at Team State next week, they'll try to double down on that mantra as they try to take down the top seeded University School of Milwaukee in the state semifinal. In lacrosse, Colton Emsweiler, News 19 Sports. All right, thank you, Colton. And there are a few other area athletes qualifying for state as individuals. Luther's Emma Cobb and West Salem's Megan Johnson. The Panthers also sending the doubles pairing of Natalie Graham and Taylor Birch to state as well.